After moving places, I had a couple of problems, for example, with the internet and my notebook. There were more, but I don't want to bore you to death. Anyway, there were the reasons for being absent for eight weeks. After I received the IBG Bedford QLP from Danielle, two more gifts arrived. This one came from my good friend Danispel. It's incredible how much US Postal charge for a small box like this. It contains a one thick scale German Falschemega and some sand. The Falschemega comes with the Falschemega Gewehr FG42 and a Stielangranate. Since I've got this German mortar that was used by the paratroopers, I was looking desperately for a matching figure. Now I've got one and I can build a small vignette with both items. The sand comes from a beach in Florida where training for the D-Day landing took place. I've got something in mind for it, but I'll have to check if it works as sand I picked up here. Thank you so much, Dan. This is a real nice and thoughtful gift. The second gift was sent to me by my good friend Greg Riley. As you can see, it's to me as Chieftain Mark V and it's something new for me. I never built anything more modern than the M48A1, the M88A1 or M113A1 based vehicles. This is way beyond my comfort zone, but I've got an idea for a dio. One marking option is for a Chieftain stationed in Germany. I tried to get the Italiari Land Rover and build a dio with both vehicles. It'll be settled on the Bielefeld Senelaga training ground or on maneuver in the early 1980s. Thanks a lot, Greg. This may be a real challenge. My girlfriend and I can do without surprises. We make our wishes and know in advance what we'll get for our birthdays. I'm so happy that I got the soldering station. I was fed up with using CA glue for the assembly of PE parts. It can be very difficult to control and damage the parts because you spilled the glue, or even worse, it just doesn't want to stick. At least not in the correct position. Soldering them will give the parts more stability. It won't help you with gluing them to the model, but that's usually the smaller problem. I never did this before, but I've got enough scrap copper and brass to practice. Wish me luck! I purchased a couple of new tools. First with this small tripod with a clamp for smartphones. You can unscrew the clamp and mount it on a camera tripod. I found it on eBay and I paid less than 5 euros, shipping included. Next were 5, in words, 5 new side cutters. Then a set of basic modeling tools. A circle cutter, well, I'll tell you more about it in a second. And finally a digital caliber. I bought the modeling tools because I'm planning to try some sculpting. This set contains the most necessary tools. If I'm happy with my results, I'll add more tools in the future. The circle cutter's range is 1 to 30 centimeters. I ordered it because I decided to go Brad G's way of making my own wheel masks, but I made a mistake when I ordered it. I found two offers on eBay and one only mentioned spare blades for this cutter. No word about the cutter itself. Now I've got two circle cutters. Since the tools weren't that expensive, I'm not really angry about my mistake. This is a rather simple caliper. It can only measure in one tenth millimeter steps, but it'll do for the project I bought it for. Maybe I'll buy another, more precise one in the future. For the side cutters. Who would buy five of them at once? Well, they were very cheap and I needed them for work that could damage the cutting edges. I didn't want to use the sprue cutter Scott had sent me for those tasks. The price for these side cutters is incredible and I even got 5% off for buying five of them. And now I'd like to introduce you to our new village. The Schmarrenbox Gable Land was changed into the old style in 1925. In front of the building you can see a monument for the fallen of World War I. 
The Vexhof is across the street from the Schmalenburg. A couple of buildings on Main Street. You can see the old farmyard. You may have heard about the Hirsch steel factory in Dortmund. The Hirsch family came from Duren where they also started their business. The church is right across a small square in front of the house. You can find small chapels of different ages everywhere in the Rhineland. The oldest building in the village. There are more than 30 monuments in this village, but these are the ones I see every day. And here are a couple of pigs of the small river Ruhr. My dog and I love it there, and we've spent a lot of time near and in the water this summer. But the best thing about the village are the people. Real nice people. I hope you like it as much as we do. When I was walking the dog, I collected three different kinds of soil that can be found in an area about one square kilometer around the house. I'll show and explain them in one of my next videos. There are differences in color and consistency, but they're all European earth. That's all, folks.